Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel and in this video you're going to build here one movie recommender system using Python and machine learning. And this is the complete web applications built by using Python and Stimulate. And you can also see here one animated image carousel and also one drop down list. So here you can select the movies. So let's say I'm going to select here one movie that's called Abator. So this is the movie called Abator. And I'm going to click here to show recommendations and it will recommend me the five similar movie based on my title that I am selected. So let's click on the show recommendations. And now you can see here it will recommend me the five movies, right? Based on my title. So let's select here another movie. Let's call the Avenger. Okay, let's say Avenger Endgame. And I'm going to click here to show recommendation button and it will recommend me the five similar movie based on Avenger Endgame. And you know Avenger Endgame is also an action movie. So based on that it will actually give me this recommendation that's called Captain Marvel, Captain America, the Civil War. And also you can see here the fantasy, fantasy boys and also the Avenger Infinity War. So that's fine. So in this tutorial you're going to build this whole applications step by step. So without any further ado, so let's get started. So well, in order to building the movie recommender system, you need to also know that what is actually recommender system. So let's take one example. Let's say I'm wanted to buy something from Amazon, right? Let's say I'm wanted to buy one iPhone. So I search on Amazon search bar and I got some result. That's the iPhone 14. I got this result. Next time when I visit Amazon, and Amazon show me some recommendation, let's say iPhone 14 Pro Max or iPhone 13 Pro Max, right? So how Amazon know that I am interested in iPhone? So Amazon know that based on my behavior or based on my rating or based on my interest and also based on my tax that I am searching on Amazon. Let's say I'm searching iPhone. So that's one also tag. So that's why Amazon recommend me iPhone 14, iPhone 14 Pro Max or iPhone 13 Pro Max like that. So that's are the basic types of recommended system. And Amazon recommend me based on this category, right? So there are two types of recommended system available here. So number one is called the content base. It actually work on the tags. Let's say you are searching Amazon. Uh, on Amazon, let's say iPhone, that's also tag. You are searching on Samsung, that's also on tag. So another one is called the collaborative filter. So that is called the user interest and user behavior and user rating. That's called the collaborative filter. Now in this video, we are going to discuss about the content based one. So content based in Mason is actually working on some tags. Let's say you are watching some movies from Netflix. Let's say you are watching actions movie. Okay. So action is also a tag. So based on the tag, it will actually recommend you the actions movie, right? Let's say I am watching one movie that's called Avenger, right? Avenger. So it will recommend the movie that's called Iron Man because both are the actions movie and the content are mostly similar, right? Mostly similar. So that's why it will recommend me the movie called the Iron Man and it's based on the tags, right? And collaborative filter is nothing but let's say you are giving here one a three star rating on a product right so based on the product it will recommend the other user this product let's say you are a user a and another one let's say call user b right so user a watching uh let's say user a is interested on iphone and you are also interested in iphone let's say you are giving her three star same as star is actually go to this uh user number b that's when you, you, the user A and the user B are mostly similar. So this time when user A is watching one cricket types of videos, it will also recommend the video of the user B on the wall. So that's called the collaborative filter. YouTube also uses the content based uh, recommender system in the before, but right now maybe they are switched on the hybrid. So what is actually hybrid? So hybrid is nothing but the combination of the content base and also the collaborative base. That's when it actually follow these four steps in order to building the recommender system. So now we are going to discuss about the content based recommender system in our movie data set, right? So we have 10,000 movies on our data set. Now using this 
boom is we are going to building one recommender system so for that we are going to use here python and some library we need that so without any further ado so let's get started and go on the vs code so in order to building the movies recommended system we need also one movies data set and the data set that i'm going to collect from kaggle that's called tmdb movies data set which one is consisting 10k top rated tmdb movies right and if i go down you can see here this is the content of your data set it have nine column and i hope it have 10k rows so this is our data set so i'm just going to click here to download the data set and after download the data set let's go on the bs core terminal and try to deal with the data so well i download the data set from the kaggle and name it called dataset.csv if you see that this is the, my data set and now what i'm going to do here i am going to create here new python file let's say main.py well so in order to building this whole project so first you need to follow some steps in the step number one it's called the loading the data set from the directory in order to load in the data set, we are going to use here the library that's called pandas. So let's say I'm going to import here. Let's say import pandas as feed. So this library is a uh, help you to load the data set and also help you to visualize the data. So in order to load the data set from the directory, I'm going to use here pd.readcsv. Why csv? Because this is one csv file. And you need to mention here your path of your data set. So let's say data set dot csv right so if i'm trying to show the data set in the bs code i need to also store it into one variable let's say data right data and if i'm trying to print it out let's say i'm trying to print it out let's say print of data and i'm going to save the file using control s and i'm going to run the code here so if i run the code you can see our code is running up and down yep we got the output here we have uh, 10,000 rows and 9 columns but if I go up you can see here we have 1, 2, 3 and 4 just 4 column is visible and 5 column is invisible so that's a problem of using the BS code in this kind of tax this kind of data science tax or this kind of NLP tax if you're working on the raw, raw kind of data so for that we are not using here the BS code in this project we're going to use here Google Colab or Jupyter Notebook. You can also use here the Google Colab, but in my case, I'm using my own local host that's been Jupyter Notebook, right? So now let's go on the Jupyter Notebook and do the coding part here, right? So that's the reason behind the scene why I'm not using here the BS code or Python, right? So well, so this is my working directory. So now I'm going to go here and type here CMD. And also I'm going to type here Jupyter Notebook in order to open my Jupyter Notebook. You can also do it in Google Colab right and it will open my jupyter notebook on my local server so well it's open on my jupyter notebook on my default web browser so let's click here new python file and it will open here an empty python file for me let's go on the full screen mode and also let's rename this file name let's say this is main well so now what we're going to do here we are going to same load the data set let's say import pandas as PD. you can use here this run button you can also use here shift enter as a shortcut key right shift and enter now what are going to do here you're going to load the data set let's say pd dot read csv and we need to give here our data set name so let's say data set dot csv shift enter and it will run the code here now you can see here it have the 10,000 rows and nine columns and you can also see the nine columns right in bs code you can see it it's disappear but in Jupyter notebook you can see it right so let's assign into one variable that's called movies yeah cool so now if i'm trying to see the movies hat let's say movies hat it will show me the five first five column of the data set right not column five rows of the data set right so you can say zero one two three four five right you can also change this to the 10th you can see that you can see the 10th first 10th row of the data set you can also see the description or you can describe the data set right you can also describe the data set so for the need to use here movies dot describe it will give you the count a standard derivations the mean value the minimum the 25 percent percentile 
and the 50 percent percentile 75 percent percentile and the maximum below so if i see that the count is 10,000, and the popularity it also have the 10,000, and the boat average and the boat count it will actually count the numerical value it's not containing it's not counting the textual i mean the you you can say the string value that's been object type it's not actually describe it it will just describe the integer value right if you can also see the movies info so let's say if i'm trying to use here movies.info you can also check the data type of that so this is one integer data type and this is one object this is also one object 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 float 64 and the object and flow 64 and the integer 64 right so that's are the information regarding your data set you can also check that is there any null below or not so let's say check that movies dot is null and you can also make it some shift under you can see here we have some missing below on genre and also have some missing below on overview so it's little bit you don't need to handle it right i'm just using here one uh, pre-processed data set most of the people data set you don't need to uh, much amount of feature extraction part here so that's why i selected data set at the beginner level right so this is our data loading part and we also know our data descriptions i mean describe the data we also check the data type of our movies data set so now what we need to do we need to some uh select some feature let's call the feature engineering in data science or machine learning tasks so you're going to select some best feature from this movies data set because in this data set we don't need the nine column right we don't need the nine column we need some fuse column which one is necessary in order to build in a model right so for that we can also check the column from the movies so let's say movies dot columns right so it will give me the columns from the data set if i try to check that let's say id so we need also on the id for feature because when we're building the application we need the id because we need to fetch the poster from our tmdb website now the title so title is important because we are going to search uh, the movies based on the title so title is also important so id is important for the features and title is also important okay and another one is called the genres so genre is also an important uh, because is it a drama movie or it is the action movie some some kind of people actually watching some action movie and some kind of people are watching the romantic movie so that feature is also important genre and language is not problem sometimes watching uh, people watching hindi movies and the english movies so that's a fact of the language so we can also remove them we can neglect them the original language uber is important because this is the story behind the movies okay so we are going to use this overview so popularity is not a fact let's say you are watching the movies of salman khan or you are watching the movies of let's say chris hamford the thor or you're watching movies of tony stark so if this movie is not popular you can also watch them right because you are watching the movie of the tony stark because tony stark is your favorite hero right so popularity is not the fact so you can neglect them release date is not also fact and boat average it's not fact and boat count it's not fact right so you select the fourth feature as a feature engineering part so let's create here another data frame using this one so i'm going to start it from the movies so let's say movies and we're going to start it from the id so we need id and then we need the title then what we need it we need the uber view right uber view and also we need the genre right so let's call the genre so let's copy this out right and then what you're going to do you're going to assign into the movies right let's say movies shift enter so now if i'm trying to see, see it movies you can hear all the column is right now dropped out and you can see id title overview and the journal so now what i'm going to do here we are going to uh, create here one content based recommending system right so let's also give here one text that's called the feature selection part this is the feature selection part right so let's go on the markdown let's make it markdown well so this is the feature selection part we also collect the features now we are going to build here one content based recommending system right so for that we need some tags so what i can do let's 
merge the overview and also the journal in the one column that's called tag so based on the tag we are going to actually build our recommended system because we are dealing with the content based recommended system right so now what i'm going to do here i'm going to merge the overview and also the journal so for that i'm going to merge the movies of overview overview of the movie and also the journal just i'm going to add them right and let's say movies of journal so it's called journal right so now i am going to create here another data frame that's called tags so let's say movies and inside that i'm going to give here the tags and equal fine so now if i'm trying to see the movies and another extra column is added it's called the tags so which one consisting of the overview and the journal of the data frame but we need to also drop the overview and the journal from this main data set right so for that what i'm going to do here we are going to create here let's say new data set okay that's the new data equal to movies and we are going to drop it so movies dot drop we are going to drop the columns so let's say columns we're going to drop the columns which one we are going to drop the overviews and the journal so let's say uber view and another one is called the journal right the journals so shift enter and if i'm trying to see the new data and you can see the data is consists right now id and the title and the tags id you need it because you're going to pass the pass the poster from the api so that's why you need the id so now we actually start the features from our data set and we also prepare the data set correctly so now what we need to do now we need to apply some algorithms right because this is one textual data so that's why you need to convert this text into some kind of vector so in natural language processing there are so many techniques in order to convert the text into into the vector so number one is called the bag of words and another one is called the tfidf tfidf vectorizer so there's the two technique you can use here in order to uh, convert this value i mean convert this text data frame into some vector right so for that we are going to use here the scalar or you can say scikit-learn so from scikit-learn dot feature extraction you can also use a tab on the keyboard it will actually auto suggest to you on the jubilee notebook so scalar feature extraction dot text we are going to use here the count vectorizer so let's say count vectorizers because you need to convert them into some kind of vector right so that's why using the count vectorizer so now we need to initialize here one um, instance of the count vectorizer so inside that you need to give here the maximum number of features and the stop words so stop words must be in english because you are dealing with english data it's not hindi or it's not bangla so that's why you need to give here the stop words and also the maximum number of counts so we have the feature of 10000 features so that's why we're going to use here the max features at 10000 so let's say 10000 and the stop words let's say stop words is nothing but called english because we are dealing with the english textual data so let's create here um, one variable for that let's say called cb and if i'm trying to see the cb it won't count vectorizer instance and with having the maximum number of features is called 10,000 because it have 10,000 movies and the stop words is nothing but english so now we need to also fit the transform to the whole data so that we can convert this text into some vector right so for that what are you going to do here you're going to use your cb dot fit transform this fit transform and you're going to use here the new data the data and from the new data you're going to use here the text right and then what are you going to do here you need the value of the text so let's say values and then what you need we need to convert this type into the unique character uh, you can also say that utf because this is one textual data and after that you're going to convert this into array right so now you can see here it's one kind of vector with having the 10,000 feature vector 10,000 feature vector so let's sign into one variable let's call the vector and if i'm trying to see the vector shape so let's say i can or not let's say vector shape and you can see the shape is nothing but 10,000 cross 10,000 that's mean it have the 10,000 column and also have the 10,000 row so now what we need to do we need to create here one recommended system 
so for that we need to also use here some familiarity that it is the how the distance is looks like that let's say i'm watching one movie called actions movie let's say iron man so if the content of the actions movie is more similar of the avenger so it will become one b so that's called the familiarity so for that what i'm going to do here we're going to use here one technique that's called the cosine similarity so what is actually cosine similarity so let's understand this one so now let's discuss about the cosine similarity so what is actually cosine similarity right so we already load the data set right so we have the 10000 rows so when we actually declare about our count vectorizer we actually give here the max feature that's called the max feature equal to 10000 then what we actually do here we are going to fit it using the count vectorizer right so that's mean it actually create here the dimension of 10,000 vector. So in our memory, it actually looks like that. So let's say it's one vector. It's one vector. Again, it's one vector. So it have the 10,000 values, right? It have 10,000 values. So what is actually cosine similarity? Let's say I have a movie. Let's call actions movie. And again, I have another movie. So it's also one actions movie. So let's on the action movie. Let's call this is called Abator. And let's say the actions movie other name is called Iron Man. So both genre is same, right? Actions. And this is also the actions. So on the overview of the movie, the tags are mostly similar to these tax in the testing part you already see that when you select the avatar movie it will recommend me the iron man movie because the iron movie man movie is also one actions movie that's mean the tax of the avatar movie and also the iron man movie are mostly similar that's mean the distance of the each tag have the lowest angle so that is called the cosine similarity right so if I am see that we have one dimensions of 10,000 feature. So let's say this is one X coordinate, Y coordinate and Z coordinate. We have the 10,000. We have the 10,000 coordinate or you can say 10,000 dimensions. So let's say this is one movie and this is also one movie. So you need to calculate the distance of that. So if the distance is lower, that's mean that's movie are similar, but we are not going to calculate the Euclidean distance. So what are the rules of the Euclidean distance? So this is called the x1 minus x2 whole square and plus y2 minus y1 whole square, right? So this is the equations of Euclidean distance. But in this case, we are not going to calculate this Euclidean distance. We're going to calculate the this theta, right? So that's why it is called the cosine similarity. So based on the angle, we are going to recommend that this is one actions movie based on action movie, you can say that it's the five movie you can see you can enjoy so well so now what you need to do we are going to import here the cosine similarity from the scikit learn so let's say from sklearn dot matrices and from the peer wise from the peer wise we are going to import here the what is called that's called the cosine similarity right it's called the cosine similarity now we are going to create here one instance of that that's called the cosine similarity so let's copy this out and i'm going to pass the vector inside the cosine similarity so that i can get some similarity below right similarity below let's copy this out <laughs> i'm so lazy okay let's call cosine similarity well so it will take few seconds to actually convert this vector into the similarity point so that's why it will actually loading you can see here a start sign so if i'm trying to copy this out and also trying to paste here and shift and all and on the code you can see here some similarity bell right some similarity bell so now what we need to do we need the index right we need the index of the each title let's say i'm going to give here one movie that's called the godfather i need the index so why i need the index because when i am trying to recommend here one movie 
it will recommend me the index number and now based on the index number i can actually access the title of the movies right and also recommend the movies right so for that what we need to do i need to actually access the index number so in order to access the index number for the titles i need to use here the new data and from the title let's say from the title let's say if the title is called the godfather let's say i'm going to just copy this one let's say the godfather i'm going to access the index number of the godfather and the index number of godfather is nothing but two so why actually do that you can actually understand in the later on so let's say i'm going to use here one third backers and i am going to sourcing it from our new data right so now you can see here we got the id i mean we got the same data frame uh, from our new data so now you can trying to access the index number zero so let's say index number zero then i actually got here the two so i got the index number from the each title right so when i build here one recommend system i need that index number not the title actually right because we are dealing with the textual data and we also convert the tag into the vector right one kind of number so why should we actually use here the title here why higher is title is not one kind of vector it one is the object data right so if i can try to see the uh, info let's say data dot info so you can see here we got the integer and object and the objects so we don't need the tag right now right we don't need the tag right now we need the we don't we we need the title and based on the title we are going to access the uh, index number right so for that what i can do here we are going to actually um, calculate the distance based on our similarity so for that we are going to uh, create here one list of that of the similarity so for that what i can do here we are going to use here the similarity so let's say this similarity and i am going to give here the index number let's say index number is two and now based on the index number two you got here some vector now we are going to enumerate all the vector inside our list so that we can actually uh, access the top five results or top 10 results from that so for that you need to convert it into list and you also need to enumerate it right enumerate the similarity from here and now if you see okay we got some syntax error right so i think i need to give here another uh, sign so you can see here some values have appeared here okay it have the 10000 maybe right yep 10000 and some values not appear so now i uh, need to also short it right so let's say short it so why actually do it because we need to actually recommend uh, the movie and based on the distance so that's why i am shorting it so let's short it in our uh, reverse mode let's actually use here reverse equal to true so now if i can show it you can see all the value is actually appeared in a reverse mode so now i will access the value based on vector right based on my vector how i actually um, convert them right so for that you can actually use here the anomalous function that's called the lambdas so you're going to pass it inside our kins let's say lambda and in our vector we are going to pass here the vector value of our index number so it's our index number that should be two so now based on the keys okay that's not keys there should be key okay tuple index out of range okay fine we have the similarity value uh we have the vector so the vector must be one okay so that's why it got this number two i would have the cosine similarity is nothing but one point dot 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 that means this is the 100 percent similar and the next one is called 0 0.48 similar so this is number four that means godfather you see the godfather number four is the godfather part two it will recommend me this movie so now we're going to get the distance now we are going to access we're going to access the top uh, five from the movies right so for that what i can do you're going to use here one for each loop let's say for i in distance okay distance and if i am trying to print uh the distance or if i'm trying to print the i and i'm going to access the 0 to 5 i mean uh, fast 5 value 
and you can see here the value i mean the index number and also their similarity value right so this is the 100 percent similar that's mean number two the godfather itself so that's why it's similar so now what i'm going to do here i need to access the title of each index number so for that i am going to access it from the, my new, new, new data so new data dot i log uh, if i'm trying to access it so for that i am going to give here my index number so index number is nothing but i and also okay i need to give here the i and from the i i'm going to access the index number two and also the title right okay tuple index out of range i think i need to give here the zero yep now it's guy got it zero means because this is the zero index so that's why and now you can see the, the godfather the godfather part two and the blood tiles and the joker and the bomb city it did recommend me this movie right so now what i can do here we are going to create one one uh, function so that we just give here the movie's name and we got the output so for that let's say define here one functions or you can say method it will take one movie as argument and i am going to pass this line here just pass this line and this line actually give here the index and i am going to also remove this a godfather to the movies and also just copy this line distance and also going to uh, make this two should be the index right so now if i uh, try to call this functions or method and give here the name let's say iron man so it will recommend the Iron Man, the Iron Man 3, Guardian of the Galaxy Volume 2, Avenger Ace of Ultron, Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Seed. So it will recommend me these movies, right? So now what I can do, we are going to uh, save this file into some pickle file so that we can actually use it later on on our web applications. So when you're building the web applications, so for that, you need to also import the pickle in order to uh, save the model. So we need to give here pickle dot dump. So we need the data, I the process data, and also we need the similarity so that we can actually um, calculate the distance for the each data point. So that's called movies. Let's say movies list dot pkl file, and you need to give here the mention here the mode. So this is right mode. So that's why you need to give here the rwb. And if I'm trying to copy this out again. And paste it here and this is nothing but called the similarity right so this is the similarity where is it similarity and this is the similarity dot pickle file right so shift enter if you're trying to open that you need to use here pickle dot load you can also load it in any here so you need to use here open and now you need to mention here your name so let's say I'm going to open this one just open this one you need to change the mode and this should be the read mode right shift enter you can see the data set right id title and the text so now what we're going to do here we actually going to use this uh pickle file in our web application in order to build the web application so well so that's fine now what we are going to do we are going to build our web application so i think i go here one mistake that is uh how you actually export the similarity file or uh, make sure that your file should be the similarity and run the code after running the code you can get here two pickle file one is the movies list and another one is called the similarity so now let's go on here and creating the uh, web application using python and stream lit so let's go so well so now you can see here we have two pickle file one is called movies list or pickle file and another one is called similarity right so now i'm going to uh, create here new python file let's call app.py and now i'm going to import here the stream lit Steambit is one kind of library in order to build the web applications in Python. So I'm going to import here the Steambit. And that is one important thing that is you don't need to write much more amount of code like HTML, CSS, or JavaScript in order to build the web applications. You can use here this Steambit. Let's say import Steambit as ST. Then I'm going to add here one header on the my Steambit application. So let's say ST.header. And I'm going to give here one header of my applications so let's say movie recommender system right so make sure that s should be capital right 
So now I'm going to save it and I'm going to go on my terminal and I'm going to type here on command that's called streamlit. Okay, streamlit run app.py and it will open the application on your local server or any browsers. So it will give you one link and I'm going to pass it here. And you can see here movies, movie recommender system. And so now I'm going to actually add here one drop down list uh, which consists in the movies name. So which one is available inside this movies list.pickle file. So for that I'm going to import it, import pickle file. So let's say pickle and let's say pickle dot load and I'm going to load the file. Let's open it. And now I'm going to give here the list. Let's call movies list dot pickle file. And I'm going to make it in a read mode RB. And I'm going to store it inside a variable that's called movies. So let's say movies equal to pickle dot load. Now I'm going to add here one select box so that you can select the movies name. So that's called select box and you need to give here one a title so let's say select movies okay that's not movies movie from drop down and i'm going to pass here the movies okay and also you need one button so that if the user uh, click on this button it will recommend the movies so if st dot button so also give here one button name so let's say show recommend okay so better we can make it capital okay so high end user press this button it will actually recommend here the five movies so let's make it pass right now so I am going to save this file and go on the browsers again. And if I uh, just hard reload it or load the file, you can see here, select movie from the drop down. You can see here some numbers. Uh, those are the numbers of the movies. So now I need to convert these numbers into title. You can also go on here. You can also change the setting, run on save mode. And also you can change this white mode. So when you actually save the file on your code, it will automatically load that. You don't need to just click on here, right? So now let's let's do it. So for that I need to uh, access the title from the each movies. So let's say movies. Let's say this is movies list equal to movies. And from that I need to access the title. Okay. And I need the values from here. Let's say values. You can see some error is appeared here because when I write the code here, it automatically reloads the applications. So that's why it's give me this kind of error. Now you can see here it will automatically load it, right? Okay, I need to pass the movies list, list, right? So for that, I need to just copy this, or I can cut it, paste it here, and movies list is appear, and now I'm going to paste it here, right? So we can close it. So now let's go here and see that right now you can see here. I will recommend me the movies, right? If I click here, nothing is happened, nothing is happened. Now we need to make this um, make this button should be the functionals, right? Okay, I think terminal is open. Yep, it's opening, right? So now what I'm gonna do here, we are going to now uh, recommend the movies uh, for the users so that the user can show the recommendations. So for that, what I'm gonna do here, I'm going to copy the uh, functions that we actually created. So this is the recommend functions. So I highlight it. Yep, this is the recommend functions. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here, right? That's it. Paste it here. So this should be recommend. And I'm going to give here this movies. And also, this is a similarity. We need to also load that similarity, right? So for that, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to pass it here and make it similarity. Let's say this is similarity and similarity.pickle file. Now, where it is gone, 
this is the movies movies and movies okay well so it's better we can store this value inside one list so let's say this is called recommend movie one empty list and you're going to append all the value inside this list right five value so for that we are going to use here the append method so let's say recommend okay this one recommend movies dot append and inside these functions i'm going to just paste here this lines of code well so now at the end we are going to return the list so let's say return the uh, recommend movies okay that's not this is recommend movies well so now uh, we are going to make this button should be functional so we are going to uh actually recommend the five movies i mean top five movies so for that what i can do here we are going to call the functions this recommend and we're going to select the value from our select box so let's assign to variable that's called select value so you're going to pass the select value inside our recommend functions or method and i am going to make it one name let's say movie recommend or let's say movie d or uh, let's say movie the command let's go say let's say movie names okay so we need five columns right so for that we need column one we need column two we need column three column four and column five we need to also initialize it using st dot columns so this is the columns and i'm going to pass here the value that's a five so in column number one we are going to see the uh recommend num num movie number one and also recommend movie number two recommend movie number three four and five like that so for that what i'm going to do here we are going to use here st doc text and then we are going to pass here um our movie names so this movie names is coming from here movies names so we have five movies so we can access it by using index number so i'm going to use here the index number zero for column number one then we have the uh, column number two right so column number two that is and we have the column number three three and we are going to give here the index number should be one and we are going to give here the index number should be two and we need to also give here for column number four and the five so let's give it out here so this is the column number four i know this is so boring text column number five so this should be the three and this should be the four five so now if i am trying to save the file and go on my browsers and you can see here i'm going to select here one movie the godfather and it will recommend me the movie okay unfortunately it will it not recommend me the movie i think let's have some problems let's check this out so well we actually give you the same name as it is so it should be movies okay now it's fine okay okay fine so now what i can do i'm going to just uh, save the file again and go on the browsers again and let's select the godfather again and show the recommendations and it will recommend me the movies the godfather the godfather part two the blood ties the boom city and the joker one two three four and five so we don't need the recommendation on here so we can access the link list from the one to six so that we can got the five below because we don't need the recommendation of the same movie as it is so for that what i can do we can actually make it one two six right so save it and now if i go here and if i click here the button again and you can see here the five movie uh based on the godfather movie now what i can do we are going to access the uh, poster from the website that's called the tmd website so for that you need to log in on the website so you need to access the poster from the tmd website you need to create here one account on that and you can get here one api and using this api you can actually access the poster so you can see here this is one example api request and that's my api and you can use this api by using this link so i'm going to fetch the poster from here right now and I also add it in my recommendations. 
So well, so in order to fetch the poster from the TMD website, we need to import here one library that's called request. So that's called requests. And using this request library, you can actually access the poster from here. So for that, what I'm gonna do here, we are going to define here on functions that's called it's a def fetch poster. And you need to give here one movie ID. Uh, so in order to actually access the poster from here. So I'm going to pass here my URL. Uh, that's my movie with the API key. So don't worry on that. You can actually get the code in the description at the GitHub link. So don't worry. So URL. And after that, how I actually uh, give here the URL request to our poster. I mean the TMD website, we can actually get here some data. So if I go on the postman, so we need to give here one get request so that I'm going to make it get and I'm going to paste my API key with the URL and you can see here uh, two. So two is nothing but my movie index ID. So let's say give here uh, three, that's my movie ID. And you can see the language, you can select the language also, it has a tag. So if I click here to send button, and it will give me some request. You can see here if, if the movie is adult movie, it's not adult movie, right? The, you can see the genres, it's a drama movie, also comedy, also have some romance. And you can see the poster path. So you can the poster path, this is nothing but our images. So you can also check the images here, right? So you can see, you can get all the details from here. So now what I can do here, we are going to actually access the poster path from here and then later on we can actually show it inside our uh, what do you call it, inside our web applications right so now this is one json data right this is one json data so now we need to also export them into the json right so for that what we're going to do here in order to give here one request we're going to use here the request module in python so now we are going to get the request using the get methods so let's say request uh, request dot get and we are going to give here the url so now we give here the get request inside our api and we get here some data now we are going to convert this data into the json format that you see earlier in the postman so data equal to data dot json now what i'm going to do here we are going to access the poster from our data right so data equal to we are going to access the poster path so let's say poster path and this is the poster path that you see here let's see on the postman so this is our poster path that you're going to access from here okay right so now what i can do uh, we are going to actually uh, store it inside the variable that's called the poster path so let's say poster path so in order to show the poster path you need to give here on full path of the tmdb movie plus a poster path so that we can return the full path from here so 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 for that we need to use this link and we need to add the poster path so that we can actually give here the full path because this poster path is not a complete path right so we're going to just access it from here so this is our full path so let's say this is called the full path now what i can do here we are going to actually uh, return it so let's say return the full path so this is our full path so now we're going to uh, access this fast poster using these recommendation how you need to recommend them we need to also access the poster path from here so for that we are going to actually create here one another list that's called recommend poster empty list and now we are going to give here the movie id so now what i can do we are going to actually access the movie id uh, from the movie list so for that you're going to use here the movies dot i lock right i lock and you're going to access this based on our index and we have our id that's our id that's our movie id right so now we are going to store it inside the movies id then we are going to append it inside our uh recommend poster so we are going to call this and append the value so which one is coming from the face poster so this is our patch poster and we are going to give here the movies id that we got now we are going to return here also the recommend 
uh, poster let's mean this d command posters and i'm going to also call it here let's call movie poster right so now let's show it as the image so let's say st dot image then i am going to actually give here my movies what is called it's called the movies poster so this is the movies poster and i'm going to paste it and also my index so index should be zero now i'm going to copy this text and i'm going to paste it here okay and also here and also here and also here now i have to change it so there should be the one it should be two it should be three and it should be four well so now i am going to save the file and go on my browsers and now if i am um, uh, show the recommendation of this movie and you recommend the movie with the movie poster so this is the movie and you can see the poster is also accesses right so let's select a movie that's called abator so this is abator and click on show recommend recommend and it will recommend with the movies so you can see the movies iron man 3 the small shoulder the marvel one shot and crawl it will recommend the movie now what i can do here we are going to actually add here one ems carousel so in order to show the ems carousel that you see in the demo video you need to pass here one file that's called front end so don't worry on the folder you can get this folder in my video description as a github link so you need to just download the file from here and you need to paste it inside your working directory so now you need to go inside your front end folder and you need to type here cmd and make sure that node.js is installed on your system so now i'm going to type here npm i in order to install the node package management and it will install the dependency for that now you need to also run and build the package manager so let's say node npm uh, run build so it will actually building all the file inside your public underscore build not underscore slash build slash bundle.js so now it's completed so i can close it now let's go inside my bs code so let's say go on my bs code here so now what i'm going to do here i'm going to pass here some code okay so that's the code i think i got some error okay i need to make these functions before that okay that's it okay fine now error is gone so you can see here we actually using this image carousel and these are the component and you need to give here the path so this path is nothing but called front end and it's in the front end you can see a public file so it having the html css and the javascript file and you can see the image urls you need to put it here and you can see here select box so now if i am save it save the file and go my browsers so you can see here the it is loaded and now you can see here some carousel right image carousel if i go on the full screen mode and now you can see here it looks cool so now if i can select here some movies so let's say 12 angry man show recommend and it will recommend the movie based on the title so it will take few seconds to give me the recommendations okay it will actually give me the recommendation like that so 12 angry man selena the whole throat right so let's select here another movie so let's say um, which one you can also type it here right let's say spider-man spider-man okay experiment into the spider birds or the amazing spider-man and let's click here on the show recommend so it will give me some slow result because i am also recording the videos screen recording is also wand so that's why it gave me some slow result but in your case maybe it will work fine so well it will recommend the movie the amazing spider-man 2 spider-man spider-man 3 the hook and the pan right so that's it for today now so hope you enjoyed this tutorial and make sure to subscribe to the channels and don't forget to hit the bell icon and i will be back with the tutorial so till then take care and bye bye